Hey, what's up y'all? Jordan Williams here. Uh, we're going to be taking the time today to go over some training specifically on a few things and we'll, we'll take it one by one. So we're going to start off with, you know, the bread and butter, which is final expense coverage. Okay. I think there's a few important things that we understand here when it's when it comes to dealing with final expense coverage. And um, I'm, I'm going to keep this training very straightforward. I'm going to limit it uh, to just the facts and, and give you a couple stories that you can relate to testimonials, you can say as to why it's so important. But again, I want to stick to the facts. All right. So number one, final expense coverage is a concept. It is not a type of insurance. A type of insurance is whole life coverage or whole life insurance. And the way that we fulfill the need of final expense coverage is with a whole life product. And the reason is, is because there's three types of life insurance. There's whole life, term and index universal life, right? Index universal life is typically used for uh, retirement planning. Term is used to protect assets, mortgages, larger face amounts of coverage, etc. usually expires and whole life is permanent, um, has some cash value components in there, but it's really designed to be able to cover folks um, in the event of, of, of needing some type of final expense coverage, let's say. There's three main reasons why folks, especially Americans age 40 to 89, um, buy whole life insurance coverage. Number one is to cover their final expenses, all right? That could include a burial cost, cremation, your funeral, your casket, etc. All right. Number two is to make sure that when they pass, not if, when, because we all have a day, that their surviving spouse or children or whoever's dependent on them for income, they have replacement of income. To give you an example, let's say you're making two thousand a month and you want to replace your income for at least a year for your spouse to grieve and to heal you'd be looking at about $25,000 of coverage. So that's number two, to make sure when you pass away, not only is your final expenses taken care of, but you're replacing the income for your surviving spouse, children, or whoever's dependent on you for that income. Number three, sit down with a lot of families. They have tons of liquid cash and they know they're not buying no Ferrari or taking a, a trip around the world. They're most likely never going to be able to spend that money. And they want to leverage that cash and put it into a, a tax-free vehicle, life insurance, that's permanent and guaranteed to pay out and leave that money as a nest egg. That's called nest egg coverage for, again, their surviving spouse, children, or whoever, um, not necessarily dependent on them, but they want to enhance their legacy and put in their name. So to recap, final expense, replacement of income, and nest egg. Three main reasons why Americans age 40 to 89 get whole life insurance. Now, why is it important to focus, not focus entirely on final expense coverage, but why is it important to focus on being an, an expert in your field of final expense coverage? Well, I mean, first and foremost, like I'm sure you wouldn't want your family to put a GoFundMe up for you or have to do some type of fish fry or car wash to get funds to, to, to bury you or to cremate you. Um, final expenses are very expensive and they're one of the first bills that is due when, you're, when your loved one passes. I take final expense coverage very seriously. I come from a large family. I'm, I'm one of 40 something first grandchildren and 74 great grandchildren. My father was over one of 15. And unfortunately, um, pretty much everyone with the exception of maybe one or two folks in my family uh, that has passed away, hadn't had life insurance. So seeing that, that debt, that burden on the family really hit home. And it's really important to me to make sure that we are taking the time to educate our families on not only one, how important it is, but just the different products that are available to them. So um, if you're an agent out there and you are working final expense coverage or leads, let's say, and you're sitting down with you know the demographic of 40 to 89, um, I would really, really advise you to focus on carriers like Prosperity, um, Aetna, Americo, AIG, our core carriers here. With final expense coverage, folks, you wanna focus on carriers that one, is gonna give them an instant approval. So Prosperity, Americo, not only are they one of our top carriers here at Family First Life, because they give an instant decision, um, but they're really one of the top insurance carriers in the nation, right? And again, that's Prosperity um, and Americo. You want to stick to those carriers that is going to give you that final, or sorry, instant decision. Um, in addition to that, not only them giving you an instant decision and being able to place your client um, in day one coverage, 
uh, you as the agent are going to be, you know, paid a nice commission in full um, in a relatively fast time. And they do offer quarterly and semi-annually bonuses. Now, obviously, we're all in this industry for, for different reasons. Um, whether that's, you know, you're like me who came into the industry originally at first for the money, or maybe you're just here because you want a better lifestyle for your family. Uh, I think it gives you a significant peace of mind knowing whatever boat you're in, uh, you're still representing one of the best insurance carriers with the number one insurance marketing organization in the country, that is Family First Life, to be able to put Americans and families in the best situation. So I would really focus on working with those carriers because if you're not, you're just disservicing your client.